Uncle John Deere is growing a beard. guys today's gonna be a maintenance day here at the field I got a new set of mower blades for the auto connect and I don't want to scuff them up there's a lot of rocks in this field and they don't agree with the mower so I thought I'd try to pick a few of those then we'll throw the mower deck on and and cut some grass we're gonna get the bush hog out and do the north field and I want to do a quick check of the trees and make sure that they're doing okay and see if we need to prop any up. So stick around and we'll get to work. I always try to have a pair of clippers in the tractor with me so when I encounter stuff like this we can take care of it early. I found something that we call a witch's broom, and it's actually a fungus. I learned about witch's brooms at the fall meeting of the Maine Christmas Tree Growers Association. Before that, I had always called it tree cancer because that's really what it reminded me of. It's a, what looks like a malignant growth in uh, fir trees and conifer trees. You'll see them on the side of the road when you're driving by big fir trees and they look like 
a really big bird's nest or something or really funky gross in the top of Christmas trees. And what it is is it's a tree fungus that causes this abnormal growth. Alright, so this is the example. See how all of a sudden we have this big abnormal growth inside this tree? So what I do is I just go in and I'm going to cut that out. Now I'm going to try to save this branch when I do it. So I might have to keep an eye on this one. But see how it's all fresh growth and it's just colored? But then we have that abnormal spot there. So we're going to go ahead and pull that right out. We don't want those in there. And hopefully it will allow this tree to do better. See that big, big bump there, that big burl. All right, moving on. So I'd say that's about the biggest rock that I've ever taken with this tractor. Put it to its limits, but boy, it got the job done, didn't it? I like this little beast. Well, I got a touch of bad news. This is how well our little solo cup project's going. I'm down to four, five, six in the solos, and they don't look happy. What do you think I did wrong? Put it down in the comment section below. I think that the potting soil might not have been the appropriate soil to use. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Mowing wasn't going too well. I want to see what's going on with it. I think it's too wet. Oh yeah, okay. It kept bogging down, you can see why. All right. I think I'll let the rest of that field dry. Or we could put the bush hog through it to get it back. Oh. Yeah, she's pretty wet. Yesterday we got some good thunder showers. Uh, it's the first rain that we've had in a long time. In fact, if we hadn't got that rain, today was going to be a video on figuring out how to irrigate the seedlings over in the ass over tree kettle field. Luckily we got the rain and uh, I don't have to try to figure something out. I thought while I had it off I'd go ahead and grease it. I try to do this every couple of times I go around. I'm not always that perfect at it. I give it four squirts. I don't know if that's too much or too little, but that's what she gets. Uh, one, two, three, four. 
As usual, it seems to be super windy today, which is the normal for May, June, apparently this year in Maine. I'm going to set up the bush hog here, and then we're going to mow the north field, and maybe we'll bang out some of the south field. All right, what I've tried to do is have both sides even. I can adjust that arm on the three-point hitch to make one side go up or down. If you notice, I like to have the rear of the bush hog kick up a little bit. That way the stuff will kick out the back, not out the front. Hey, so as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you uh, like what you're watching. Leave some comments down below about bush hogging or anything else Christmas tree related. I want to take a chance to shout out to a couple of friends of mine, Bram and Ross. I really enjoy that you guys watch the videos and I'm really glad to hear that you like what you see. Tell your parents you want a pair of clippers for Christmas so that you can be right along us sharing in a couple of years. Keep watching, I'm glad you enjoy it.
Well there, I think we got a lot of work done today. I got the north field bush hogged and I'm gonna go mow the south field after I get done talking to you guys. You know the drill. I'd rather feel bad in Maine than feel good anywhere else. Even with the snuffy nose. There I go my friends. I'll see you soon.